Hey guys, in this video we're going to be um, putting our scratchy violin sounds and samples and mapping them in contact. This is the fun bit. So here we go, I've got a uh, an instance of contact. Load it up. Oh dear. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, here we go, this is one I've created earlier. No, that's Alicia's keys. Okay, so this is really simple. Open up Finder or wherever your scratchy samples are, select them and drag them into contact. And it will create this little instance of a little instrument for you uh, called Scratchy Violin B2 and four others. So if you click on the uh, spanner here, it will open up the back end. And this is where the magic happens. Uh, um, mapping editor. Uh, so what this is, is where all the samples are mapped. Uh, wave editor is where you'll see the waveforms of the instruments, of the sam samples. Script editor is where the scripts are. Group editor, when you're editing the groups, which we will do uh, later on with the round robins and velocity layers. Instrument options for when you're creating artwork. So let's, and other stuff. Let's go to mapping editor. That's the one we want. And I'm gonna right click here and we're going to select all zones. The reason we're doing this is we're now going to tell Contact how to lay these instruments out. Uh, so I've right clicked, they're all selected. I'm going to right click on the selected ones and I'm going to go to Auto Map Setup. And this is where our wonderful labeling has come into hand, come into its own. We're going to go to here. So it's, it's called Scratchy Violin and then B2. It's, we're going to ignore that part of the label, the, the track, the uh, sample name. And we're going to set this to a single click, single key click apply, apply, <laughs> apply, uh, and they were close. And there we go, you see, ta-da, it's auto mapped them to where we have labeled them, which is uh, simply magical. Um, but if I click on this, you can see the sample itself is actually the root, this is where it tells you where the sample root is, uh, is incorrect. So if I play any sounds, Uh, they're not quite pitched right, so I need to, for the quick one, select all zones. You can drag across, but I like to do the select all zones. And we are going to go to um, auto map functions and, <laughs> oh no, I've done it again, I've done it again. Ah, um, We are going to go to batch tools, there we go. And move root key to center. There we go, so this one is now there. This one is now there. So they're all automatically spread out nicely. Now the next thing, so uh, what I mean spread out nicely is they're all. Hey, that sounds nice. Uh, but obviously these bits that you see where I'm pressing, this is where the note I'm pressing, there's no sample loaded there. So I need to spread these samples I recorded. And I said that I was gonna sample it so that I wasn't actually going to move this, pitch the samples up, and I'll show you why. So, for instance, if I just take this one and I ah, don't do that, and I just drag it across, if I play this, oh, that actually doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> Damn it! Ah! It sounds it sounds a bit rubbish there, but that actually doesn't sound that bad. Uh, <laughs> which is really irritating when that happens. It usually, it works the other way around, doesn't it? You know, when you when you think it's going to sound amazing, it sounds awful, and when you think it's going to sound bad. It's... Anyway, uh, so what you can do is, if you were going to, um, uh, to move them up, you can simply go to uh, Automap Functions and Auto Spread Key Ranges via Root Keys. And what that does, it spreads them out equally down and up, which we can do. Uh, just for the sake of it, there we go. They're done now. So this will this will show you what I mean. It sounds a bit rubbish. Uh, <laughs> just a bit rubbish. Um, now I want to uh, let's deselect all zones because I want this one. I'm gonna just yeah. I don't think it's gonna go that high, really. I think maybe we'll move it up to there, and let's move down here. Oh, that's actually really quite cool. Yeah, it sounds quite cool, uh, but it's not the effect I wanted, so 
at the most, I'm going to go to an octave down. Yeah, there we go. So the one thing you'll notice, I'm pressing the key, but the sample's not start, st sample is not starting. Now, if I remember rightly with this one, um, it doesn't... I haven't uh, cut the sample equally across all the sample because there's only, what, five samples here. So, I, you know, I was being a bit lazy. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Wave Editor and we're going to zoom in. You see, here we go. And we want to move the sample start, so... Yeah, it's about... I mean, we could put it there. I quite, I quite like a little bit of space between it. Now we'll do the same in this one. It's going to move the sample start. This is that little S here on the mapping editor, on the wave editor, sorry. Oh. So. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. This one, let's do the same. This one's up here, isn't it? Yeah, probably about, yeah, about there. And this one is, yeah, you can really hear the delay there. It does actually seem, uh, let's see, they're all about, no, you see, they're different. So this one's 0.5 seconds. This one's almost one second in. And this one, again, 0.5 seconds. So just... So if I, I, now I've, I've all the start, all the samples start at the appropriate time. So if I play a minor chord, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that sounds pretty cute. Yeah, that sounds really like uh, Americana, you know, sort of um, deep south. Uh, creepy, violin-y. I'm really happy with this. I think this sounds really cool. <laughs> uh, and this is the wonderful thing, right? That's five samples of me just dragging, uh, you know, playing the violin badly. But the nice thing is it sounds quite convincing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I could carry on and start carry on fiddling, but the thing about this one was just you understanding how to map the samples. So I loaded them up. Um, I went into the auto map setup and allocated single key. Then I um, went into batch tools and moved the roots to center key. Then I went in here again, auto map functions and auto spread key ranges via root keys. I could have just dragged them all down. Um, but actually, it didn't sound that bad in the end anyway. Uh, so uh, next thing here is would be to save edited instruments so that you've got your actual sample here. Oh, these were, here are some samples I created earlier. Um, I might as well save them in my Schreiber samples folder. And we're going to call this uh, Scratchy Violin. Whoop. Okay, and that's patch and samples and save. Boom, done. There's my scratchy violin, um, which you, I, I'd quite happily just send this out now. I mean, I think that sounds really great. I mean, but we'll we'll do some more fiddling with it in later videos. Next thing you need to do is download the samples if you haven't already, and then practice loading them up so you can create this, or even just skip what I've done and download the full instrument. Although I'm not sure you'll, it will be available for you just yet. Unless, of course, this course has been live for months and months. Anyway. Thanks, guys.